Hey guys, this is Heretic, and in this video, I'm going to give an update on the movement that we've been talking about that we have for this new globe and realm, as well as a few more details on how our alliances will operate and how we hope the realm will work out. First, an update. We currently have approximately around 150 people signed up to work with us in two different alliances. These alliances will be run completely separate, but are led by friends. With the commitments that we have right now, the alliances should be very big and active on day one and will require a technology push just to be able to handle this big flow of members. We have a few ideas in common between the alliances with the overall goal of making this an amazing place to enjoy War and Order. That being said, we have plenty of room. If you want to join in, if you want to get started, if we have to create a third alliance, we will do that. All right. So we've been asked a few times, what are the realm rules that we're going to have? Like, are we going to set them? No, we're not going to set any realm rules. We will be competing like all of the other alliances in the realm. What we want is a long-term healthy realm. In addition to our two alliances, we know of several other large alliances that will also join the realm and will potentially compete against us, which is a great thing. We will have a few rules in our alliance, obviously like every single alliance out there has, and those rules will be set up so that we do our part to keep the realm from going negative. We do plan to fight. And we know that war and fighting is a big part of the game. We're all veterans and we don't want a farmer realm. But we want to balance that as much as possible with the desire not to drive people away from the game. We want to keep our realm healthy. So what does it mean? What does realm health mean? For me, it is defined by activity and competitiveness there should be many 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 active players at the start of the realm your alliances should be hopping world chat should be bouncing <laughs> it should be a non-stop flow most of the people who are gonna be on when it's a healthy realm at the very beginning you're gonna have a ton of people that are on for long periods of the day so it's not just they log in for five minutes and log out. And that's from the very beginning of the realm. You will know, as you do already, I'm sure, from other realm experiences that, you ha that you've had, you can tell if a realm is dead, right? If it's going to be a dead realm. It's not the battle power. It's not, you know, you see someone at 30 it's not that at all. It's, it's not the, even the number of people who are in the alliances. It's the number of people who actually log in, participate, and grow. So competitive means that you have people working to win events. It can be internal realm events like crown or even a war or you know whatever events maybe that your alliance has. Or it could be realm events like void and frenzy. There should both be a large number of people participating in those events. And at the same time, you should have some sh very strong players. This competitiveness is what keeps people playing. It makes things exciting. We're going to be competing against other realms within our globe. We want to make sure that we have a really good standing with them, that we're always competing, that we're not you know, far behind uh, um, in any of our Realm versus Realm events. And how do we achieve all of this? How, what's our plan? Other than bringing a ton of friends to the Realm, we hope that other alliances and players also get drawn into the hype of, of these videos and, you know, all of these people recruiting and all of these different channels. And they join in on the Realm to build a Realm that lasts. We know it's a significant investment of both time and money to build up an account and, and keep it going. And the best thing that we can all do is work to make sure that that investment is well spent. So if you want more details, a place to chat, a team to join, 
look in the description of this video for a link to a Discord that has just been set up for the realm. It's for anybody, it doesn't matter. And no one's gonna be kicked because they're competing against us. You know, it's for the realm. So come on over, give us a shout, and let's make something incredible here in War and Order. Take care.